Hey there, thanks for joining again today. We're gonna to talk about why your circuit breaker keeps tripping off. Is this happening to you? Wondering why? Um, well, first, if you'd like, I can give you a brief education on how circuit breakers work and what they do. I'll try to put a card up here, uh, also link to it down in the comments below. But what's happening, there could be two things happening. Um, I'm gonna go to the, the less obvious, which is, you could have your black, which is your hot, or your, and your white and your neutral wires crossing or touching each other downstream. Okay, so for somehow or another, they, get, they touch together, or one of the wires touches your the box or something else that's not part of the circuit. It'll cause your circuit breaker to trip. However, that's often not the case, and it's usually... Uh, related to the amount of draw or power that you have on the things that are plugged in downstream from the breaker. You're overloading the breaker, drawing too much power through it, and that's what this breaker is for. It's a safety, it's a precaution to make sure that you don't cause a fire down below. Okay, so if you have a 20 amp breaker and you're drawing more than uh, 2400 watts downstream it's gonna it's gonna flip okay 15 amp breaker 1800 watts is the maximum so if you're constantly uh, tripping breakers you're gonna then want to go and see what is plugged in what it where what is controlled by this breaker which outlets which which light switches what what is part of this whole circuit okay um, if you're not sure you can you can use a circuit detector or a circuit breaker finder, you can figure out by plugging things in what's controlled by a specific breaker. I'm gonna also link to that video. If they let me do a second card here, I will otherwise down below. So you can buy one of those things and you can figure out what's controlled by, by each breaker. So any case, um, you might find that you have, it's the winter and now you see the coat and you're plugging in um, a space heater and those things draw a lot of power. And in addition to that space heater, you've got a couple other things that you've got working and now you're tripping the breaker. So uh, you wanna figure that out. You might wanna plug something into a different uh, outlet that is not controlled by this breaker, but by a different one. Spread out your, um, your load to different breakers if you happen to have the need to be plugging in a lot of things at one point. Uh, and if that doesn't work, obviously call an electrician in so they can do a full analysis and determine whether or not you need to up, do some kind of an upgrade, maybe run an additional line, split some things up, so that way you're not constantly overloading your breaker. So hopefully that explains and gives you an idea as to why your breaker's tripping. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I appreciate you as always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.